Hi guys, validity. Validity is all about making sure that the measure corresponds with the underlying concept. As you can see, oftentimes uh, uh, we also try to create sub-concepts for concepts in order to make them more precise. So in this case, uncritical patriotism and national identity are two sub-concepts of national attachment. Now, can you see the problem here, the problems of validity? For instance, political knowledge quiz does not seem to match up with political interest. Furthermore, how many times you read the newspaper doesn't seem to match up with political knowledge. Feeling like a typical Pakistani doesn't really seem to be something related to uncritical patriotism. And agreeing or disagreeing with the statement those who criticize Pakistan should li live elsewhere does not seem to correspond with national identity. So let's look at the next page to see what the proper alignment would be. Ah, much better now. Everything is matched up. The proper measures are aligned with the proper concepts and sub-concepts. Uh, we can say that we have ensured validity. Here you can see the results uh, from the survey. There are nine Urdu speakers, five Punjabi speakers, and four Pashto speakers, and various kinds of others in the class. Um, now, if I was going to do the survey multiple times throughout the semester, and if I got the same results, then we could say we had reliable measuring procedures. However, if we get a different result every time from the same class, say some results show 20 Urdu speakers, some only show two, then there's a problem. Why? Well, it could be that you weren't taking the survey seriously and just randomly answering questions, or you didn't understand the question, or I entered the data incorrectly. It could also have happened that I changed the question slightly from what language did you learn at home or speak at home to what language do you speak in school or something like that. If I change the question like that, that will also affect reliability. Another problem that endangers reliability is measurement bias. Here it is not a random error, but it's a consistent error that's pulling the results in a particular direction. So for instance, in the survey, uh, the results showed that, uh, on average, your parents make about 151,000 rupees per month. But it could have been that you were uh, exaggerating it all. That's what often happens in surveys. People exaggerate their income. And everyone exaggerates it about the same. So that's a measurement bias. Or you might be underestimating it, uh, particularly when one is filing taxes. One has incentives to underestimate income. So this is an example of a measurement bias, which also endangers reliability.